Hello, gentlemen. Uh, right now, I order the fans for the garden. And on this video here, I had uh, some comments from my friend Joe, some uh, comments also from uh, uh, from Stephen, uh, from I don't I forget his name again. I read it up about the way. Then when I operate the backhoe, the way that that portion move here. So what I'm going to do to show you guys, uh, I'm going to remove the, the rear wheel and I'm going to put some light and show you how it is installed uh, and how um, the rear part of the backhoe is installed on the steel frame. It's one steel uh, frame and you're going to see me, uh, I retorque the, uh, all the, the 22 bolts and nuts around here every nine hours I just did it uh, just prior to yesterday but still the you can see it was moving so you're going to see how it is mounted on the, the fiberglass on the frame and everything so uh, keep keep on all right now the neat thing about the backhoe for the lifting the rear tires is I use the outrigger from the backhoe. However, I, big, I put the big piece of wood in the middle so we will keep it stable if in case of one of the two hydraulic uh, fail. All right, so let's remove that wheel. So let's go on the other side. All right, gentlemen, just to show you my wheel spacers, uh, like you can see, uh, they are four inch uh, wider. And uh, what I've done also when I ask uh, uh, the guy to do is. I still have to wait, but I they all screw from the those holes there, all right. And the two opposite screws I put nuts, so it will be stable. It's very sh there. I did check the torque; everything is good. And I, I also cut that, put some more nuts. Now the way it is installed, I'm gonna stabilize the tripod. Okay, now. The original frame is the part I'm touching. Just so that I'm gonna try to put it a little bit closer, perhaps in the side view. So that's toward the rear of the uh, of the. Uh... Right. So this is the original frame. So you can see what I'm pointing at right now. This is the sub attachment for the. You know, if you can see that tape there, all right? This is where the backhoe is attached. All right, so those are the uh, all the bolts and nuts which are attached on the frame here. The frame it's uh, it's uh, more than one quarter thick. Still, I just have my glasses in there, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's five sixteen uh, thick st uh, steel and the uh, the height it's uh, five 
uh, five inches and uh, and almost half five inches and a half all right and uh, so all these bolts and knots are bolted to the uh, to the the frame and also a part here which L the uh, in upper portion there I'm just gonna show you that guys the uh, rope assembly all right so very tough to see and uh, when we when you see now I'm gonna remove the camera I'm gonna try to I have a better view for you guys. You know what? I'm gonna take off the right now. I think it's better like this. So, all right. So you see the uh, subframe in here. All right. You see the uh, this is the the rear three point attachment. It goes up here. Now this part here is bolted. And this is go all the way to support the fuel tanks. I have two fuel tanks on each side and also the rear. So, so when you see the, uh, suppose the tower is there and you can see that moving, it is, it's, it's directly attached to that. So I'm going to show you which boat, I'm going to talk all these boats again. And uh, and the part here also those are the boats. Now the weakest part of this frame, it's right in there because it, it, there's a big hole. So that's where it's tough to see, but that's why I have to look. And that this is the weakest part of the frame, and that goes all the way to where the airplane. This is the part where the uh, the fail is attached, so you can see how the bolts attach directly to the frame where the identification plate is. So this is all the bolts. There's only one bolt in there, and this is the the frame. Uh, that's all done. So you can see all the frame in there. I have a better view, perhaps. I put some lights that will help all right so you can see all the frame going towards the front okay so what I'm going to do so I was I, I'm the only place where I can stress like I, I have to look many times is that part here and I will go see that on the other side I show you that on the other side too this is the, uh, if I had a mower deck, this is the mower deck uh, where you attach the mower deck. I'm thinking to remove that or use it for another project later on. Because uh, there's no sense for me to, why should I use that? I have uh, no, uh, like, I'm tempting to remove it, but we'll see from, the, from now. All right. Now, the, uh, the game is... How to install another piece of steel about the same thickness of that. Uh, the thickness for the uh, that frame, it's um, it's half inch, so it's a big uh, big plate, and uh, that was the intent with Joe. Is uh, like he was telling me is to attach the rear backo attachment. Like you can see here, this is uh, the same part towards all the way to the uh, where is my finger? the the front part of the film. Either weld something under here, which would be easier. Pass it all the way here. Obviously, we have to remove that, but I don't use it. That would be great. And then, so like I was saying, is uh, just weld something here. Uh, gain access to those holes or just uh, put a longer screw to uh, this is what attached to the rear differential this is all screw into the differential also uh, this nut it's uh, it's bolted on the other side so uh, yeah it's uh, it's something the game is to install a big block here weld it to there and and weld it under here so 
as the back will move, it will have the, that frame and that frame, so it will be very locked to, uh, in place. And even uh, something with this, all right? So I'm going to uh, stabilize the camera and talk everything so you see me uh, doing that stuff. All right, cheers. I forget to mention to you that I did retalk all those bolts prior, so that's why there's none so far loose. The bolt there, that's what's holding the reservoir the fuel tank and also the fiberglass there so there they're very well installed so I did check this one there So, sorry about the confusion, I just know I don't remember how to handle the wrench anymore. <laughs> so all that thing is all torqued. So I'm going to do the other side and uh, I shall return, alright? Okay, so I decided to bring you along. So uh, these bolts, what it's holding the uh, the differential, and also these uh, in the back, it's tough to see, but it's holded by those four bolts there. All right, and this is the bolt which is attached on the frame. Now I'm going to put the camera somehow to show you on this side. So this is the frame going all the way up towards you see that boat there that's the fail the attachment for the fail right there with the shining light so again the weakest part it's around this area because of the holes but uh, I don't see any cracks and uh, nothing is there so I will clean it and redo it again but from underneath it's really tough to see but there's no crack or bent so like you can see there's a lot of bolts and nuts to attach that frame and it's uh, it's made really strong like I just show you with the picture with the, the plate but the goal is to attach that part towards that part here showing to the fail putting some links under here put the plate here and weld it but Joe was gonna will come up with some good idea all right so I'm just gonna talk that and show you that all right Put the camera in good place. If you guys can see. So that one, those four, I put the wrench on the other side, so I have to go.
All right, gentlemen, so <laughs> you can see that I was paying a lot of attention under here. There's only, I had only one boat loose. I completely forgot yesterday when I retorque, you uh, know, two days per. But one thing, I never retorque since 200, and I don't know, I'm, I'm past 200 hours, but it's to torque these boats there. This is a very important, it's the rope system, rollover protective systems. So, uh, <laughs> there we're loose. So now they're very well torqued. It could be a part of all the addition of uh, the strength about that. Because there's a big steel plate here in the back. It's about, uh, it's more than one quarter thick. And it's related to those things there too. So, uh, and I'm also looking, uh, there's two bolts here on the top, which is, uh, it's holding the top of the transmission, so I will try to uh, torque it also. And uh, now there's only four bolts in the front. That's easy. I always torque them. So, so that's showing you the importance to read your operator manual. However, for this tractor, since it's brand new, and I hope the Mandra will fix that, is the uh, they were calling the backhoe book and also the tractor they were calling to re all the bolts and not at 22 uh, hours but for the back part for the backhoe it was the same hours however i discovered by using more and more the backhoe first time i talk it it was i was past 20 hours it's joe last year who told me hey dave by the way you should see look at boat so yes on the 22 boat not counting these on the top, the, the eight on the top here, uh, they had, had to say two more of them were completely new, so I re everything. Then I wait uh, 12 hours, re again, and I had about half of them loose again, so I re again. And uh, now it's uh, less than uh, two hours, or maybe three hours, uh, no, uh, yeah, three hours of operation, and I have only one left loose. But I think I didn't torque it, but except that the one at the top here. So I'm going to torque the two bolts here on the top. I never touch either of these one and the four uh, these I touch often. They never get loose anyway. And also I check for the uh, the wheel spacer. They are torqued very well. I mean, I put it in place. However, what I will do, and I'm not doing it right now. No comments at all about the uh, lock tight. I didn't lock tight it because my friend Joe... Well, uh, we uh, was talking to me to build another subframe, and at that time, when it's going to be the final session, then I'm going to use the red Loctite, and maybe welding the boat. No, just kidding. All right. So, uh, all right, guys. This is my short video. Cheers. All right, gentlemen. Uh, one thing I would like to add, like you just saw, also. Uh, I don't use a torque wrench. Uh, I will get a torque wrench soon or sometime. It's not a priority for me. Why? Because I never ever strip a bolt. I rather under torque it than over torque it. In the aviation, everything is torque wrench. And it's a safety factor, and I agree with that, 120%. On my tractor, I rather uh, under torque it. I torque it, and then just a little bit, but not much. You see me, my uh, but that's my measuring uh, gauge. Even if I use a one-inch uh, drive uh, set, I, uh, I mean, I rather go. It's, it's for me. It's, I have a better control with a long arm. Okay, I know. All right, I am in that range. Uh, I'm sure I'm not gonna talk like hell with a half inch uh, boat, <laughs> you know what I mean, but uh, just a point of view like this, uh, so uh, yes, torque wrench are, are essential, uh, in the aviation it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a must, it's a safety factor, but the, uh, for me, right now, with my low budget, i rather use and my common sense, there's one boat here was uh, uh, stripped and it's not me, all right? 
I even talked to my friend Joe the first time I retook everything. I cut, I put the uh, the uh, the bolt like this and the wrench went like this right away. So I knew for a fact and the, the guy prior, it must have been a Monday special or a Friday afternoon. Uh, he was eager to finish it. And uh, so, uh, but that's okay. We'll fix it later on. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. All right, guys. Cheers.